Hello to all of my boss buddies. I hope that you all are doing well. If you are on my channel for the first time, you have landed on an awesome, magnificent channel that I promise you at some point is going to change your life. If you've been rocking with me for a while and this is not your first time, welcome back to another video. Sorry it took me a few days to get another video out, but I want to tell you guys that you all are marvelous and I am so enjoying the comments that you all have been placing on my videos and let me know how well things have been going for you. So today we're going to get right into the meat of what this video is about. I'm not going to take up a whole lot of time. I have a lot of things to do today as usual. Those of you that know me know that I stay on the go. I'm just leaving the nail shop from getting my nails done. Now I'm headed to get my eyebrows and my eyelashes done and just trying to love on myself a little bit today. Have you taken the time to love up on yourself and, and, and take some me time and just sit back and relax for just a few moments without doing anything? Well, that's what I have to do sometimes because I do so many different things and I'm entitled to so many different people. I have to take a moment and relax and just care about myself. So that's what today is. Well, a majority of today. I'm not going to say the whole day, but a majority of the day I'm loving on me. So while we're on this video today, this video is going to be to help encourage those of you that have been um, considering or wavering back and forth whether you want to make your business a full-time job, whether you want to do it um, around the clock, or if it's something you just want to tap into here and there. Well, this is what this video is going to be about today to encourage those of you that are ready to jump up and jump out, step out, um, of the boat and jump into the water and ready to swim. That's what this video is about. As a matter of fact, I had a seminar um, a couple of months ago and please do go back and research or search for that video. It's called Get Out of the Boat Business Seminar and it's upon my videos on my YouTube channel. But it was simply a seminar encouraging people to step out on faith and do what it is that God has given you a great talent or gift to do. So being that I'm a gift basket designer, although I'm a cosmetologist, although I design flowers, although I do a variety of creative tasks for money, the main um, job that I have to earn a living is making gift baskets. So you've been sitting at your table, you've been sitting at your computer, you've been sitting on your job wondering if you want to make this a full-time career. Well, for some people, the answer is going to be yes. And for some of the people, the answer is going to be no, not yet. How do you know whether you're ready to make um, this a full-time job, you're ready to make this a full-time um, income for your family. I'm glad that you asked. One reason, one way that you will know that you're ready to make a full-time living from the gift that has been given unto you is if it is a motivational drive that you think about all the time. If every day... Um, that comes upon you, you are trying to decide what you're going to do for your next business venture, the next way that you're going to bring in revenue, the next um, great holiday that's coming that's going to cause you to multiply your finances. If you think about these things on a daily basis or you make moves towards these things on a daily basis, you more than likely are ready to step out of the boat and jump into the water to swim, okay? So I'm not on this video to tell anybody to quit their nine to five job. I'm not on this video to tell anybody to stay on their nine to five job. But what I am on this video um, to tell you is if you have the faith and you have the motivation and the drive to do what it is that you need to do, there is no way that you will fail. And I always say the only way that you fail is if you don't try. Because let's say that you do something business oriented and it doesn't quite produce what you think it should produce. What do you do? No, you don't stop there. You don't go back to your job. You don't go back to um, 
past things, what you do is you push and propel forward. You push forward and you find other ways to make money. Let's just say what you tried, it didn't work. That doesn't mean that it's never going to work. It just means that it didn't work that time. So to keep you all from being discouraged during times of what we call failures or shortcomings, it is to just simply brush yourself off, get back up and try a different strategy, okay? So if you are a gift basket designer, and this year, let's just say for Valentine's Day, this year you took orders, okay? And when you took orders, you didn't get quite as many customers as you thought that you should get, okay? Does that mean don't sell Valentine's baskets for Easter? Does that mean don't sell Valentine's Day baskets? I'm sorry, does that mean don't sell gift baskets for Mother's Day? Does that mean don't sell gift baskets for Father's Day? No, what that means is whatever strategy or formula that you used for Valentine's Day, you're now going to revamp and you're going to amp up the way that you handled the business from Valentine's Day. So you come up with a different strategy so you weren't able to get as many um, orders as you thought. Okay, then do what I do, which has worked for me for years. I've been doing it, gift baskets for about 25 years. And out of the 25 years that I've been doing gift baskets, maybe about 23 years. I won't stretch it as far as 25, maybe about 22, 23 years. But anyway, you get my drift. I've been doing it for a long time. I have a lot of formulas to success and I also have formulas to failures, okay? Because I've experienced both. But I've experienced way more successes than I have failures. As a matter of fact, I cannot look back on the last um, quite a few years. I mean, multiple, multiple years. I cannot look back and see where my gift basket designing was a failure, okay? So it's been pluses all the way across the board for the last 15 years, okay? So I'm not a expert, but I am great at what I do. I do know that what I do produce revenue. I do know that what I do produces a steady income um, for you and your family. So let's say that you didn't make orders, okay? Then like I said, reiterating what I just said, go out, find you a local store, find you a local market farmer's market, whatever type of flea market, whatever it is in your neck of the woods. Y'all know I love to say that, your neck of the woods. Wherever you're located and whatever is popular, then find you a location where you can sell your baskets. And one of my favorite sayings or one of my favorite things to do is if customers don't come to you, then you go to them. You don't sit back on your stool of do nothing. You don't sit back in your living room and sit back in your office and wait for customers to flood you. You go out into the streets, you go out into the highways and byways and you flood the customers. I promise you, if you get your face out there at a store, get your face out there at a corner um, marketplace or something, I promise you that people are going to get familiar with you if you put your dedication and time into your craft and you perfect that which you have been called to do. So my point of advice to you today, and we'll do another video because I don't want this one to get too lengthy, is if you feel that you you have the time and you have the the drive and you have the zeal to do whatever it is that you've been called to do because whatever it is that you're doing or whatever gift that you have whether it be a spiritual gift or a physical gift that gift was given to you by God okay so i don't know whether you believe in God that's not my concern but i'm telling you that i know that if a gift was given to you it was given to you by the almighty creator so if he gave you a gift the gift was to bring wealth unto you. He said that I've given you power to get wealth. He's given you power to get wealth in your hands. And not only has he given you the power to get wealth in your hands, he's given you the power of life and death in your tongue. So whatever you speak out of your mouth and whatever you create with your hands is what is going to produce for you. So if you're not doing anything with your hands and you're not speaking anything positive with your mouth, if all you're speaking is fear, and all you're speaking is doubt, then that's what you're going to produce. But my friend, 
my boss buddy i promise you if you speak positive if you let positive energy surround your day if you think positive thoughts and the bible also says as a man thinketh so is he so whatever you think on on a daily basis that is what's going to consume you so if you think about your business you think about your prosperity you think about the prosperous things that you're going to do to get your family from rags to riches, I promise you that it is going to catapult your life in a way that is immeasurable. So you guys, listen, I hope that I've said something that will encourage you and motivate you. Even if this is not your season to start your business full time, consider doing different things that will get you there eventually. I promise you, you will love working for yourself, but you've got to have time. You've got to have dedication. And most of all, you've got to have motivation. I love you boss buddies. If this is your first time on my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And until the next video, bye-bye.